After high school, I went to Kellogg Community College where I earned my dental hygiene degree and I started practicing right away in the field and I've loved it ever since. I actually wanted to be a nurse, so I wanted to do the nursing uh, assisting and I went through the dental program and I just loved it, so I decided to switch and do the dental and I had a wonderful instructor, Jan Sprague, and she was a great role model in what I wanted to do. And I love health careers and helping people, so I thought the dental would be a good fit for me. Attending HOSA was always fun, going with your classmates to uh, the big event. And, um, you know, you've worked hard all year long, and to finally get rewarded possibly for all your hard work, it was really, really a fun experience. To never be discouraged, it's a real hard field. Um, it's, the schooling is very difficult, but as long as you study and, um, and just have fun with it, you'll do great. When I got out of high school, um, I immediately jumped right into the workforce there. Um, first thing I did was uh, got my EMT license once I was able to uh, get it. I, when I went to Votech, I took the EMT class my junior year, so I had to wait a year and three months in order for me to take the test to become an EMT because you had to be 18 years of age. I was 16 when I completed the class. Um, at that time, I took the test, passed everything, got my EMT license, applied for um, Monroe Community Ambulance, worked as an EMT there. I joined the Summerfield Fire Department uh, in 2005 and been there since. Um, along those lines, I've worked for um, Monroe County Central Dispatch as a 911 operator and police fire and EMS dispatcher, and um, things just rolled into place from there. This program I thought was unique to high school students when normally this wouldn't be anything that would be offered unless you're you know, 18 years or older and then have the time to take, to take this sort of class. So I figured getting a jump start on this uh, um, ahead of time would be helpful for me in the long run instead of having to pay the expense myself and then take the time to take the class. Um, so having Votech to have me take this program was a huge help and I took it when I can and uh, the instructors uh, were second to none in my opinion to get me to where I am today. You know being part of Votech with um, being a part of HOSA and all the other activities that the school had done um, was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of the hands-on activities uh, made things interesting. We uh, uh, what we do is uh, have clinicals and ride-alongs outside of Votech with uh, Bixby Hospital and Madison Fire Department uh, to help get more hands-on experience and training and allowing Votech to have us do that would be uh, was very beneficial to uh, the program. I would say you know if you see this opportunity at Votech take it. A lot of um, unfortunately a, lot, a handful of students that, that were in my class pretty much saw it as like the superintendent said it's a way of getting out of class for half or out of school for half the day and think that you know it's, it's just going to be uh, you know, something to just blow off or whatever, but I mean, if you were seriously interested in, in some sort of uh, career opportunity that Votech presents, I would say take it, you know, because it, it doesn't, it gets you, it gets people to where they want to be, and it's quite evident hearing the stories of all the students receiving these awards today, there's no doubt that they will excel in whatever career field they choose, and between myself and the other alumni that have been selected and honored over the years, it speaks for itself that having coming here to Votech would be, you know, a very good thing if that's something that they want to do for the rest of their life. In 1991, after I graduated from Addison High School, I attended Washtenaw Community College where I received an associate's degree in 1993 in graphic design with a design option. In 1994, I got a job at the uh, Brooklyn Exponent in Brooklyn, Michigan as one of two graphic designers. I was there until 2007 in which I embarked on a career as a photographer. I also took on a job as a staff writer at the Daily Telegram in early 2008 where I am there yet today. The Tech Center helped me confirm that I wanted to do something creative as a career and the certificate that I got from the Tech Center 1991 in graphic design coupled with the associate's degree I received from Washtenaw Community College amply prepared me for the field that I had chosen. 
I still use my degree to this day. The Daily Telegram, although I'm a staff writer there, helps me have a well-rounded understanding of the entire process from news and story gathering to photography to the graphic design that uh, prepares the pages for press. And even to this day, I still do consultations on graphic design projects. I have helped with book production, internationally uh, acclaimed books, with Photoshop work that I've done in preparing some of those old photos needed for press. Favorite memory of the Tech Center? I remember a lot of the programs here didn't use computers, and back in the late early 80s, early 90s, we had the most advanced technology here at the Tech Center in the graphic design program. And it was pretty awesome using those uh, computers that we use 1.4 megabyte high density disks. And you know, we felt like bosses walking around with those, with those disks that, I mean, today you, you have 256 gigabyte thumb drives that uh, put the technology uh, in an antiquated perspective, but back then, we felt really good uh, using this awesome state-of-the-art technology at the time. Enjoy the opportunities that you are given here. This, you know, 26 years, almost 27 years after I've graduated from the Tech Center program, it remains a very relevant and vital part of the Lenawee County system. Take the advice of everyone because they truly care about preparing you for your career. Take in those moments, appreciate every little bit of information that you can get because you are going to be using that in your career.